Another day, another Halloween topic. What do the fates have in store for me today? We are going to make some Haunted Mansion ears. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Meg and welcome to Meglit is a Geek where we geek out about everything Disney, Star Wars, Marvel and a few other things. If you are new here, hi and welcome. I hope you feel as comfortable and as geeky as you like. If you are returning, thank you for geeking out with me once again. I really appreciate it. Yay, we're gonna make some fun and magic ears. And I am Lady Hades, your host. Definitely not ghost host, unfortunately. I am a goddess. So we are going to make some Haunted Mansion ears. I got this fabric, I think, on Etsy. But it has a whole bunch of scenes. You got the opera singer, the portraits, the, the expand, you know, Madame Leota, Hatbox Ghost. I'm so excited to see the Hatbox Ghost at Disney World. I am. I'm not going till next September, but I don't care. But yes. So, beautiful. And then I think... I think I actually bought this at Joann's, but I'm not quite sure. But if I'm not, I'm so sorry. I may have got it on Etsy too. I have so much Halloween fabric. I don't know where it all came from. But it's the wallpaper fabric, so we have to use it somehow, right? And I love the Haunted Mansion. It was a, like... For 30 years, I dreamt of writing it based on seeing it in the sing-along videos that Disney used to come out with. Why aren't we putting it out more? I want more Disney sing-alongs. Do you remember those? Because I remember those, and those were like the jam in elementary school. Anyway, let's make some Haunted Mansion ears.
you throw fabric at the camera, they come back as ears. Who knew? These are the ears. I love this Dollar Tree like rope tool thing going on. It adds a little bit of a brightness and a color and that's kind of why I added to it to the bow because it was kind of purple on purple and I felt like it needed something so I should have shaped it better like edged around the bow with it or something I don't know oh well they're my ears anyway all for me I don't know I think I might be able to put them on around the crown I think I did that last year but Unfortunately, I didn't quite get all the ghosts in there, but I wanted to make sure I got the hitchhiking ghost, got Madame Leota's tomb, had to get the hatbox ghost on there, the welcome foolish mortals, and the building. We had to have, you know, the stretching portraits, and of course, Madame Leota herself, but I think I love them. They, they do need a little work, though. But they're good. They're good for me. So I think I may wear these next year for my Disney trip. Not sure yet. But I think they turned out really pretty. They're mine anyway. I just have to think they're pretty. There we go. With the crown and everything. This is why I'm the goddess. <laughs> The hair gives me false confidence. This is not good. This is this is how I should go to Disney. This is how. Tiara with the ears to just ride the Haunted Mansion like this. And the wig. We have to take the wig now. So the question is, next year when I go to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween, do I wear the Lady Hades costume? Hmm. Don't know. I hope you like the video. Comment down below. What do you think of the ears? Or what do you think of the Haunted Mansion ride? Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't know. How are you liking you vlogging? I know I probably ask that in every video. But when you're doing 31 to 32 videos in a row, you're really hoping your audience is enjoying this. Rather than seeing your slow, mad descent into crazy. I'm already halfway there. We're good. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe for more geeky content or my slow descent into madness you can you can subscribe for that as well <laughs> i do hope you guys are having a wonderful day thank you for watching and as always stay geeky and spooky bye